We are connected to every form of creation in the universe. And through that connection, we are constantly experiencing our relationship with the divine mysteries, with the miraculous forces that give life and consciousness to what we know as reality. Humanity is currently undergoing a mass blooming of consciousness, an awakening that has only just begun to reveal our magical interconnectedness with all of creation. Today, I have a divine transmission to share with you on one of these special spiritually based connections, our spiritual relationship with the sun. According to the angels, our sun is playing a powerful role in our spiritual ascension and the way you interact with it may be harnessed to accelerate and uplift your spiritual growth. Open your heart, tune into the angels with me and get ready to receive their messages. Ever since this past summer solstice, I have been receiving messages from the angels about the role of our sun in our process of spiritual ascension. Now that we've moved past the equinox and solar eclipse, I have been guided to share these messages with you. In order to understand the spiritual component of our relationship with the sun, you must first understand that we are all connected to everything in creation. We are most closely connected to each other and to nature. Nature includes not only Mother Earth, but also the cosmic bodies that surround us, including the sun, moon, and planets of our solar system. The sun, of course, is one of these close connections that affects us the most. All things that hold impact in the physical realm also echo an equal amount of impact across the mental and spiritual planes of being, since what occurs in one realm occurs in all three. Think about the incredible impact of the sun in the physical realm. It is the reason that we, and life as we know it, on this planet exists at all. With an impact that big in the physical realm, its spiritual impact is just as great. And perhaps there has always been a deep part of us that has known this. After all, in ancient civilizations, the sun was often worshipped as a god. While the sun is not necessarily a god, it does have a spirit and consciousness. All creation holds the consciousness of the divine creator source. Every falling leaf and every blade of grass holds a shade of God's awareness in some form or another within it. According to the angels, our sun is conscious, but not quite like our consciousness. The sun's consciousness is a very pure conduit for the divine presence of God. It does not have an ego, a personality, likes or dislikes, nor does it experience contrasts of any kind. It simply is. It is, in other words, held in a pure state of awareness of its own existence as a transmitter of the divine and of all that the divine creates through it. It is a witness and channel for the miracle of creation. The sun as a spiritual entity is essentially a portal and generator through which divine energy is woven and filtered into our earthly dimension of being. Just as the sun's light is a primary life giver in the physical realm, the sun's light is also a powerful provider in the spiritual realm. You see, at the spiritual level of being, all consciousness is expressed as light. In other words, the form or embodiment of consciousness is light. Since the sun is a pure transmitter for the divine source, the light of the sun is imbued with many rays of consciousness and encoded with the same programming, the same wisdom, as that which gave forth to the creation of the universe. Light and consciousness are magnificent because they are interdimensional. They can easily travel through all dimensions of being, physical, mental, and spiritual. Your consciousness can do this too, and the more you awaken along your spiritual path, the more aware of this ability you become. Now, according to the angels, humanity's collective awakening to higher spiritual states of consciousness is part of something much bigger that not only involves humanity, but also involves changes and evolution for all of creation around us. Remember, everything is connected. So when one thing undergoes radical change, it creates a ripple effect wherein the rest of the universe calibrates to harmonize with and share in that change. 
the Earth's collective process of awakening is therefore actually part of a much bigger picture in which the whole universe is moving into a new state. It's like the releasing of an egg from a woman's ovary. Earth is like that egg growing to maturation and being released for fertilization. Just as the whole of a woman's body shifts into a new state of state of being in response to that state of fertility in her womb, the whole universe shifts into a new state in response to what is happening in our little corner of it. According to the angels, the sun is part of this natural time of spiritual growth, change, and awakening, as it is acting as a wellspring and amplifier for the light that is now helping us to awaken. In simple terms, the sun is activating the rays of consciousness, wisdom, and divine programming that are helping us to rise to new levels of spiritual awareness. Each time the earth shifts into a new phase of its cyclical relationship with the sun, in other words, each time we have a solstice or equinox, we shift and what it is we're receiving from the sun's spiritual charge. Just as the earth's dance with the sun follows a cyclical pattern, our spiritual awakening follows a cycling pattern that progresses us just a little bit further and further each year that we grow along our human journey of consciousness ascension. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about exactly what ascension is, click the link I left for you in the description below to watch my ascension video. Now, it's also important to note that not only does the earth grow through go through cycles, but so too does the sun. The sun is currently in what is known as solar cycle 25, which began in December of 2019 and is expected to continue until around 2030. Right now, we are in what is known as the solar maximum, the period of peak activity in the sun's 11 year cycle where the number of sunspots is at its highest. During this time, solar flares, coronal mass injections, solar winds, and solar irradiance increase, and the sun undergoes a magnetic field flip. This solar activity affects the Earth, including both her magnetic field and her spiritual energy body. During this year of solar maximum, we've already had at least 9x class solar flares, which is the largest and most intense category of solar flares. In the spirit realm, these flares destabilize the spiritual energy both of Mother Earth's energy body and the energy bodies of human beings, opening us to receive and match with light that is encoded with power and spiritual wisdom. That light catalyzes our spiritual awakening and consciousness evolution, which in turn catalyzes great change or a turning of the page into a new chapter of the human story. These intense destabilizing solar events often trigger major ascension symptoms. To learn more about what exactly ascension symptoms are, check out the two videos I left linked for you below on both physical and emotional ascension symptoms. Essentially, these major solar events can make you feel very different physically and mentally, or even trigger spiritual jumps in consciousness wherein you begin to have glimpses of reality through your psychic senses. At the physical level of being, this can make us feel run down, tired, achy, sleepy, or cause headaches or insomnia temporarily. Emotionally, we might feel irritable, highly sensitive, or triggered to face or purge emotional imprints that do not serve us. So how do we deal with all of this? What's the best way to navigate these shifts and harmonize with the sun and earth as we move through this big chapter of the universe's spiritual evolution and expansion? First off, spend time outdoors in nature absorbing that sunlight. Certainly you'll want to do that in a healthy way such that you don't get a sunburn, but even just 20 minutes of early morning light with your bare feet on the ground can work wonders to ground and strengthen your energy field so that you can calibrate to the new frequencies of light entering this planet. At the physical level of being, the sunlight supplies your cells with important information that boosts and harmonizes your physical health as well as energizes your mitochondria. But again, remember not to get too much of it. Even just a few minutes of sun near the sunrise or the sunset can work wonders to help you harmonize with this powerful energy source at each level of being. At the mental level of being, sunlight either energizes or calms the mind depending on the time of day you absorb it, and also helps to reveal truths and boost your mood in healing ways. At the spiritual level of being, 
Absorbing the sunlight can accelerate spiritual growth and help you to reconnect with the presence of the divine creator source. This can help awaken your psychic gifts, boost your manifestation abilities, and bring in wisdom to guide you through your path of ascension. If you want to deepen this and become much more consciously aware of the magical spiritual transitions that the sun and all of nature are helping to enact through you, then there is one spiritual practice that I believe is the most sacred and powerful for doing so. Shamanic journeying. Shamanic journey is a practice akin to lucid dreaming, astral travel, or deep meditative states in which one might receive messages, visions, or downloads of healing or new consciousness. Amazingly, this is one of the oldest spiritual practices known to humankind. Evidence of shamanism has been found on every major continent in the world where human civilization has existed. It predates all other forms of spirituality or religion, with archaeological evidence of it that dates back 40,000 years, though there are anthropologists who theorize that it is up to 100,000 years old. During a shamanic journey, practitioners enter a deep, meditative, trance-like state of being wherein they project their consciousness into the spirit realm. Once there, you'll often connect with the spirits of nature, including the potential to commune directly with the spirit of Mother Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. These journeys enable you to become fully conscious and aware of the spiritual changes you're undergoing as our world shifts through this process of ascension. Not only that, they can empower you to receive messages of guidance and wisdom from beings of higher dimensional spiritual consciousness, such as the angels or ascended masters. And you can also receive deep healing that accelerates and eases your experience of ascension. If you want to learn more about shamanic journeying, I'm going to be giving a course on this soon, including training on everything that you need to know in order to engage in this spiritual practice with depth and ease. If you want to learn more about that upcoming course, receive a great introduction to shamanic journeying, and receive channeled guidance that I received from the angels on the resurgence of shamanism as we transition into a new earth, then I'd love to invite you to join me for a free shamanic journeying webinar on Sunday, October 20th. To register for the free webinar, click the link I left for you below. And even if you can't make it live, I'll still send you a recording link afterwards so that you can enjoy the webinar in your own timing. Thank you so much for tuning in and receiving these messages today. I hope you all enjoy connecting with the spirit of our sun in a new way. And as always, know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!